Shiner, Texas was put on the map by middleweight Zach Reese last weekend after the up-and-coming prospect won his first ever UFC fight by TKO. You know, this has been a dream of mine. Uh, I remember, you know, watching pay-per-views as a kid and stuff and being fans of these guys. And, you know, it's been a lifelong dream to get in the UFC and, and get that first UFC win. So... Yeah, I'm over the moon. I told my wife, I was like, 50 Gs, baby. <laughs> the 50 Gs he's talking about was the performance of the night bonus given by UFC president Dana White. It's life-changing money for Reese, considering he made more from the bonus than his actual fight salary. You know, it, it is it is, it is, is a game changer, man, because I it gives me enough money to be really comfortable and and uh, look forward to this next fight. I, I wish I could tell you I'm going to do something stupid and irresponsible with it, but I'll probably just, you know, get a couple tattoos and, uh, yeah, pay off my truck. That's probably it. But the road to his first victory had a huge pothole in it. His UFC debut was back in December on a UFC card in Austin where Reese lost by knockout via slam. You know, I, I, I just know I could beat Cody Brundage and my timing was just off, and that's just the game we play, man. It's, it's a game of inches. It's a game of milliseconds. And to lose, yeah, it, was, it, it sucked. It was devastating. With that in the rearview mirror, Reese focuses on what's next for his career now that he's one victory and 50 grand richer. Two more fights for sure. Um, you know, two more bonuses. You know, I have two more fights on my contender series contract, and then I want to get that second contract and start top, cracking the top 15, man.